your junk or vintage hunter. And I'm going to attempt to finish up this shop tour. Uh, I tried yesterday, but I got distracted. But that's my life in a nutshell, is always being distracted by something. Anyway, I'm glad that you're here. Um, my name is Misty, and I am a full-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, Etsy, and I also own an antique store in Bedford, Indiana. So this video is part two of the shop tour. I will link part one down below so you can watch it if you would like. Uh, but I started in the front of the shop and now I've worked my way to the back of the shop. So that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna attempt to do. So anyway, I hope that you like this video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I do a lot of reselling content as far as vintage items, antique items. I do also sell clothing and so I, you know, have videos that pertain to selling clothing as well. But let's just go ahead and get on with the shop tour. Shop tour, shall we? Okay. So this might be a good place to start. I'm standing on what I call the stage. You can see here there are several steps that you walk up. Back in the day, this building used to be a shoe store. So this part that I'm standing on now was another part of the showroom. Maybe I should come down here and give you another view. You can see here, it's just like a little stage i call it the stage area the flooring up there is actually the original flooring when the building was built and i'll put in the exact date that the building was built because i always forget and i don't want to say the wrong date i'll have to ask my husband but um this is the original floor the flooring on the majority of the other part of the shop is mainly just it's just plywood that we had painted um when we bought the building it sat empty for several years it was in pretty bad dish repair. I'll try to insert some photos somewhere in this video so you can see how the building looked when we purchased it. Um, but at one point there was a pet store in here and they sold a lot of aquariums and fish related things and they ruined the original flooring. So this area up here was all uh, part, uh, partitioned off with walls and drywall and we took it all out and opened it up. So, and this is the one lonely rail that remains so i'll go ahead and get started up here on the stage this is what we call the stage all right so as you can see there's a lot of stuff in here and honestly people ask me all the time is this uh, uh are these booths in here do you rent booth space nope nope we don't this is all ours it's all ours. It's a lot of stuff, isn't it? Uh, I should say, though, that my whole life, you know, I'm 44 years old, and my dad has collected antiques and bought antiques my entire life. So a lot of the stuff are things that he has had in his house for over 40 years, and he has always wanted to own an antique store. We had the chance to buy the building, so we did, and his dreams are now becoming a reality. I will go ahead and shoot up here at the ceiling too. These are the original ceiling tiles that were in the building. They are not the original light fixtures though, however, uh, but I think we did a pretty good job at getting some that looked old, but that still would provide us a lot of lighting. And I have customers coming in, so I'm going to push pause and I'll be back. All right, a couple other things I wanted to mention is this cool mirror. This is a mirror that was from a shoe store. So I just think that it's really cool. If I had a huge walk-in closet, I think this would be this would be a great little mirror to put in your closet. So that is a really unique and cool piece. Uh, so just gonna keep showing a few things. This little table I think is really neat. My story with this table is that it was built in the Great Depression out of an old crate. And it has all of this old writing on the wood. It's just a raw, primitive table that I think would be great as a, a kitchen island. And on the bottom here, it's got these cans. And someone had told me, I don't know if this is true, but someone said that they used to put the cans on the legs to keep the mice off of the table. So I just think that that's 
that's just my story and I'm sticking to it. Uh, there's another air cabinet that I need to redo because I'm not happy with the way that it looks. I like boots, cowboy boots, and I think they look cool with flowers in them. I have this children's pair right there. And I've got this pair here. I just stick flowers in them. They usually do pretty good. Those flowers are a little big, but um, I'm just going to keep going around here. Here is a primitive piece that has no cabinets on it anywhere, but I loved it. And I think that it would, it is just a neat display piece. This is very, a very primitive looking cabinet here. And we've got some uh, cast iron skillets on the bottom there. But um, a lot of people in this area really like primitives. So I have this display kind of set up for people who like the primitive things. Lantern, this railroad lantern is really cool. This is a Dietz lantern. These are a very, very good lantern. And actually, if you're out and about and you see just the shades on here that say Dietz, they are a railroad lantern. Just the shades alone are worth a lot of money. We have $95 on that railroad lantern. Okay, this is a neat piece. This is a bathing suit, believe it or not. It is a men's wool bathing suit. There's the shorts there, and here's the top. It is made by Gimbals in New York. I probably should take this and put it online, because honestly, in this town, no one's going to want this bathing suit, but clothing collectors would probably be interested in this. What do I have on it? I have $35 on this Gimbal Brothers swimsuit. So this is probably something, I've had it for a while. I'm probably gonna end up taking it home and listing it and see what I can get out of it online. I got some ships up there and a cast iron skillet. Okay, I'm about to show you my our little friend and look he's ready for the fourth of july this is fluffy he is a taxidermy raccoon that my husband had to have i he was actually on one of my insta stories at one time but i put this little festive fourth of july hat on him and he is ready for the fourth of july talking about the other day i mentioned about wooden mug racks these are metal ones these are the ones that I really, really like to find. They're getting harder to find. I have two of them here actually though, but these are the ones that do pretty well. So the metal coffee trees do pretty good. All right, I think I already talked about that area over there and there's another pair of boots. Um, it's not a little baby thing. So these, this is, this is just a little, it's a, it's a shoe box. Look how cute that is with a little baby on it. This is something that I've had for a while too. And I honestly, I need to get this listed. I've had this for a long time. This is a, just a chrome baby toy. So that's something that I really should probably get listed. I've had it for a while. Let's see with this guy here. Cincinnati Reds. This is, he is chalkware. He, his face. <laughs> As has been glued back together, but he's still a really neat piece of chalkware. Alrighty. Creepy clowns. I hate clowns. I wish somebody would buy these clowns, especially that one. Ugh. These are, I believe these are Napco. This other one back here might be, yeah, it's Lefton. There's the sticker there. These are collectible. I could list these online and sell them, but and I really need to because I don't like clowns. Clowns are creepy. Oh, Raggedy Ann, girl, you have fallen down. I have two chairs hanging from my wall, as you can see, and it looks like there's a dead doll on. Okay, I'm gonna have to fix her. I'm not gonna do it now, but she's looking pretty sad sitting up there. I didn't even notice that until now. All right, so another view of the shop and I'll see there's fluffy again this is a really neat piece too the, I, it, I had a table here I'm selling furniture like crazy which is an odd thing because normally it's smalls that sell and furniture is 
I'm having a hard time keeping furniture in. So this old cash register here, um, I'm trying to see if it had a, I don't think it had a name on it anywhere, but it's sitting on the floor right now, which looks really tacky, but it has these really cool, you can see when you push these up, well, it's not letting me push any of them up. It, it is a national cash register shirt. $85 on that guy. Here's more bottles. I have an obsession with bottles. So I've got some Dr. Pepper bottles. I buy bottles at every given opportunity that I can find. I love them. I like using them in my home decor at home. Here's a nice doll. This doll here, she is like a composite face but you can attach your hands and your feet to her and you can dance with her. So she's a fancy dancing doll. This is a piece here that I really like. It's got elephants all along the bottom. It does have a little spot right here. To me, it kind of looks like somebody has dropped something at one time on them. So there's a little nick out of here. It is an art deco. It's made by Mayflower and it is pewter. There's the maker's mark. It's not going to pick up on here. There's the maker's mark. But it's just a really cool piece. It's very Art Deco. These are, um, what were these? I think they were hotel wear. Yeah, they're Sheridan Hotel. They're silver soldered trays. These look really nice at Christmas time with a red battery operated candle on them. And some greenery around it there's the maker's mark it's not going to pick up on here too but i have two of them left i did have i had several of them and i sell them at the holidays because the way i display them with the red candles in them my dad has found these he my dad bought this naughty pine coat rack and i think it's really pretty cool actually be neat in a cabin so it's 55 dollars on this i think it's a really neat piece and all these old hats. Now, these hats, I know I can. I need to probably list them online. I think I've got six dollars a piece on these hats in the shop, which is really kind of crazy. This is Dynafelt. They're made in the USA, so I really, I really should put these hats online. But I'm not gonna mess up with it right now. I have so many things that I need to list online. This one's cool here too with the metal trim. So this piece of furniture I just sold last weekend. So we emptied it out and it's ready to go to its new home. But the rest of this area is a hot mess right now. So I'm almost embarrassed to even show this area because it is, it is seriously, it needs some work. It, this is what I call the mantique part. Let's just see. We have some really awesome lighters here. They're not really awesome. I mean, some of them are kind of neat, but they're modern. They're not old. They were in a box full of stuff that we got at an auction. There was one here. Maybe we had sold it. But yeah. Are you ready? Here we go. Did you remember that guy? So they're a dollar a piece in this cool camel tin. This piece right here is a really cool piece. This is a coffee grinder. We've had this for a while. The, the, it is an amazing piece. It still has the grinder down there in the bottom. The cords are excellent on it. You literally could plug this in and use it to grind coffee if you had a coffee shop. It is an amazing piece. I'm holding out on that price though because how often do you see them in this great of condition? It is a Hallwick electric coffee grinder. It does work. It's an amazing condition. Um, let's see here. I love these utilitarian brushes. This is a paint brush or a paste brush. But look at the wood on here. It's it's a craftsman, the craftsmanship that it took to make this. I believe the bristle the bristles may be horsehair, but it's just really it's just a really cool piece. I like gauges. Some gauges here and a gauge there. There's a, a gas pump and another gauge there a lot of people like to do steampunk things with the gauges i just think that they're cool i mean look at the dial on that isn't that great 
this is some, I have 6850. This is brass. So just the brass alone on it is great. Some bows and arrows. All of these yardsticks here I got at an auction. They're all local to the town that I live in. So I always try to find local pieces usually do pretty well. And here again, more of that Mantique area. Just some different tins. This is a neat piece. These are a set, it's fertilizer. It's a fertilizer, fertilizer sample kit. She's got these little bottles in here for her fertilizers. But it's from Indianapolis, Indiana, so it's kind of a local piece. So there's some an Ingram factory piece. This used to be full of fishing lures, vintage fishing lures, lures, lures. There's another word that I have a hard time saying, but we've sold a lot of them. I think this is funny. Fire water aged in the woods. It's a whiskey bottle or a jug. It's got a hillbilly on it. Green bottle. Ginger beer bottle. I like the ginger beer bottles. This guy right here is a little clown too. He used to have, he's a decanter. So he used to have glasses that would fit here, like salt glasses that would fit on him there. And Oh, I think it's here. I was trying, where do you, that, where does the booze go? The booze goes in his hat. So he's got a little cork here and the alcohol goes in here. And then you can pour him and he'll fill up your glass. I wish he still had the glasses, but he doesn't. Here's another brush. They're just, just the workmanship that went into making these brushes, I think is amazing. Got that handle on it. Isn't that beautiful? another ginger beer bottle here's another brush I just I like brushes look this one has um, who is this one made by it's not gonna pick up on here it's got some issues here but I just think that it's just a cool looking it's just a neat piece there's another gauge this here is a um, something a, some kind of a car calibrate calibrator thing I don't I just like the, I like gauges there's a Miller light um, what are those beer things some hand tooled wallets some maps vintage tools down there and some more gauge pieces again I like gauges here over here oh, I just probably made you sick with moving my camera so fast Here's another mug tree. Look at this. For my coffee break. Back to work. It's a pretty neat little mug there. This little juice mug. Orange juice is good. Hand, what does that say? Hand decorated. This is the kind of stuff that I like to find. Nobody probably likes it, like appreciates it as much as I do, but I love it. Another thing that I love are toolboxes. There's a record player on this table. This is what I mean. I've sold pieces of furniture, and this is stuff that I've just kind of put somewhere because I sold the, I sold the furniture that it was sitting on. This is a really cool crank record player that works. It's a neat piece too. There's all kinds of loud vehicles driving by. Here is, I have some poppy trail plates here. Looks a lot like Franciscan Ivy, but it's not, it's poppy trail. These amaze me. Okay, let me pull one out. These are three tine, um, like Civil War era forks. Let me just tell you, these are so sharp I would stab my cheek if I use these to eat with there these are highly collectible though um, as you can see I've got a set a knife and they're they're getting all tangled up a knife and a fork good grief these are five dollars this knife here is ten dollars 
Um, a lot of times you have to look because this handle on this is some sort of bone. It's an animal bone, which makes it a, little, a lot more valuable than the other, the wooden ones. So the ones that are colored like this, you have to really, sometimes you can look at them, it's not gonna pick it up on here. But if you look at them through a magnifying glass, you can see the marbling in it. Okay. Um, Asian planters there. This table is actually sold too. So I'm I'm gonna have to find some, something to do with all of this. But as far as staging things, you see, I've talked about this before. You can see I have a chair on top of that table, but it just adds height. It's a hot mess right now because of everything that I've had to put on it. So this table has sold too, and I have to figure out what to do with everything that's on that table. This part of the shop is not my favorite part on the stage. I think it's because I focus so much on people when people come in that this is just kind of a hot mess back here. And I don't like that. And I've always wanted to make it something different, but I just haven't yet. But this is another desk that's sort of similar to the ladies' desk that I showed you. This is a little bit more of a fancier ladies' desk, but it has the cabinet on the top this i'm using as a surface because i have to use every available surface that i have surface that i have this folds up so it slants down so you can pull it out and then you have your desk here i do carry a lot of vintage typewriters this is the only one i have out, out on the floor right now i've got more in the back which the back room is a whole other good grief i could do a video alone on just the back room of the shop i'll show it to you in a minute but I may end up doing another whole video just on the back of the shop because, well, you'll see. It, it, it's, it's something else. Okay, so back here is another area that I need to focus a little bit more attention on because it's a little bit of a mess back here. But um, we have a lot of books in the back. We're trying to fill this up with some of the books that we have in the back. And you see we've got one shelf of books. We need to do the other shelves to fill with books. All right. This is a really cool clock up here. We have the Philip Morris sign. This up here, this wall up here used to be filled with advertising signs and we're down to downtown and Philip Morris. So that's something that we are on the hunt for to fill back up the wall with has a lot of color to it another thing that we like to display on the walls are these license plates um, we have more in that box right there but my husband had a brilliant idea you see we have this conduit up here and um, he has used metal and he's made these little hooks so when someone comes over and they want to buy a license plate they can just take it off and then we can replace it with another license plate. license plates are a good thing make sure that you when you see them and they've got age to them it's good to do a little bit of a, a an, an ebay search on them because as you can see i mean i've got eleven dollars twelve dollars fourteen dollars eighteen dollars so the year matters the state matters and so it's always good to just to double check Sometimes you'll see a farm. I don't think I've got any up here that say like farm use. That one says safety, a couple of them say safety pays. But so license plates can be worth, they can, they can be worth money. So always do a little search on those. You can see this is a, all of this, this was all drop ceiling and it was all drywall. And when we started to take all of that stuff down, when we re, when we redid the building, we came across this little cove right here that you, at one time was a window before the building next door was built. So we framed it out with barn wood and then um, I just use it as a little shelf, which is looking pretty bare. Boy, I've got a lot of work to do. And honestly, when I'm here, it's so busy and people come in to talk, which is fine because I love having people come in and talk to me and just sit down and talk and we hang out a little bit. 
Um, but I'm really going to have to start coming in here when we're not open just to clean, just to get things organized. But then that's taking away time from my reselling business too. So it can be a little stressful, but I love it. All right. So I'm going to just open the door here. Let me show you the door real quick. This door is... Well, it goes to the back. We call it the back room, which is the belly of the beast of the shop because it's a mess back there. And you'll see that in just a moment. But my husband, this is a an original slide door, a uh, barn door slide. And he's mounted it and we found a door and he has hung it on the wall. It just adds a little bit of whimsy. And honestly, we there's my word again, whimsy. And honestly, we put this up before barn doors were a big thing in people's houses. So everyone comes in and likes our, the door. I like it too. Okay. You ready? Yeah, I know. I feel the same way. Did you scream? I think I heard screaming. This is something. As you can see, we've got a little work area over here with another cash register. This stuff is all stuff that came out of the cabinet that I just sold that I don't know what to do with yet. So you can see I have shelving units that have stuff on them here. It goes all the way back there. Um, we're trying to reorganize these shelves to make it a little bit more... Um, to make make it make more sense to store our inventory. The top shelf here is all Christmas trees. I put up about nine Christmas trees up in the shop every Christmas, which I'm very hard to live with at, during that week because it's oh, it drives me insane, but I love it. This is all Christmas up here. Christmas decorations and Christmas things that I'm selling. This is a beautiful Aladdin lamp. Look at this. This is gorgeous. We have to replace the cord on it, but oh, it's it, it's it's beautiful. I love it. It still has a finial on top. So I've got lamps that need to be recorded. It's just just a lot of stuff. Mirrors. This is a cool piece. I found this in the, I think I found this in the trash. Look at that. It's this little sterilizer. I don't know if it's like a, I don't know if it's from like a doctor's office, but look at the lamp that's on it. I really need to get that out, cleaned up and get that out. That's just a cool piece. Here's a box full of phones. Oh, and picture frames. These are all picture frames. This is a piece that dad just bought at a sale. We need to get it. This is going to go out on the floor. As soon as that other person comes and picks up their piece of furniture. I've got some. Do you guys remember these? These are like what they would have at playgrounds. With a spray on it. And you would just go back and forth on it. Have two of those. They don't have the mounts. But they're still neat. I just, I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to sell them or what I'm going to do with them. But I buy them. These two lamps here are very cool. And they need to be recorded. Meaning they need a new cord on them. So that is going to happen soon. They don't have the nails on them, but that's okay. Look at this lamp. It's made out of a chain. That also needs recorded. And here's the finny. The, the, the harp is completely falling off of it. But I've got fans. Lots of fans. And a cow thing. A yoke. Dad must have bought that. I've not seen that before. This basket is full of probably hundreds and hundreds of dollars of automotive lamps that are just sitting in it. Hey, is that a, if that's a Rubbermaid, I put an Insta story on Rubbermaid um, hampers. That's a Rubbermaid hamper. That's like 40 bucks right there. So I need to get that out and look at that a little bit further. So this is the back room. Mm -hmm. Vintage hampers. Street street signs or street lamps. I get overwhelmed sometimes, as you can see. It's a little overwhelming. It's a little overwhelming. There's all the books that I'm talking about. But there's things in here I don't even remember that we even have. It's just all kinds of stuff. So, 
This is why I'm crazy all the time. Look at how cool these are. Anyway, this is the back room. Oh, look at these lamps. Ugh. I gotta get those out. Those are so cool. But this is it. There's another clown. And I got a skeleton and candy canes. This is the back room. Actually, I'm getting ready to close, so I am turning that light off. And I'm shutting the barn door. One thing I wanted to show, though, before I signed off is this lamp here. It's a lamp clock. It is a United Stage Cloak, Stage Coach. It's a mantle clock or a TV clock. Um, the price that I have on it is very low because these sell online for well over $100. It has all of the pieces. The only piece, oh no, it's not missing. So the only piece that's not there is he's got a little whip. Hey, there's dad. Wave. <laughs> He's wanting to know what the hell I'm still doing here. I'm getting ready to close. All right. He's got a little whip that he whips the horses with, but it, it is still there. I'm gonna turn him off because it's about time for me to go. This piece of furniture right here has issues. It's a beautiful bird's eye maple dresser. The mirror is very bad. The veneer is coming off of it, but man, it's a it's a it's a really pretty piece. Look at the the carving on the top, but someone might want it to redo. This is this is it. It's a mess. Maybe I'll I just need to spend some more time in here and make it back up to my standards again. I know that a lot of you probably think, "Oh, it looks so good." And I appreciate that, but to me it's a mess, and I really feel bad about letting it get as messy as it is so that's the shop um i my plan is to continue to do several more um videos here different staging videos and different um just different ideas and things that 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 could help you with your antique booths although with the state that the shop is in right now i don't know um it's just always a work it's always work it's why you have to work non-stop with this business because as soon as something sells you have to replace it with something else and honestly we have space that we have need to fill up with furniture so um stay tuned for that video because i'm going to an auction on wednesday and i'm going to an auction on saturday so fingers crossed i'll be able to find i about dropped my phone and i covered up my camera i'm hoping to find furniture so that's my goal the bad thing about buying furniture is I can't just haul it home myself I have to get my husband to help me and he works on Wednesday so I, I I'm gonna have to figure something else out I'll figure something else out but I do need to get furniture that's my plan so I will be taking you along with me for those uh, auctions so I hope that you enjoyed this video and it's kind of like it's just kind of I did it kind of off the hook not planned i was interrupted several times because of customers but my plan is to continue to bring you videos at the shop and talk about different things um, and things that are hot for me at least in the midwest right now and um and again if there's anything that i showed that you might be interested in leave me a message i'll link my uh, or i'll put my email address below so you can send me a message if there's something that you might be interested in I will ship it to you. We can talk about the price on email. So that's this video, guys. I hope that you guys have a really great day. Make sure that you hit the like and subscribe button, and I will be bringing you a lot more videos similar to this, but hopefully better. Anyway, have a great day, guys, and I will see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.
All right, so I'm stepping up. First of all, look at my little stool here. It has a little dog on it, but this is a 7-Up crate that someone has turned upside down and made into a stool. It's not for sale because I absolutely love it and it's very useful. All right, so stepping up into the window display. Here, I kind of talked about this in the first video. Here is this beautiful lamp that I love so much. Why it has not sold for $75? I don't understand because it's very cool. Okay, so I also have this dresser here. And these are silk pillowcases. There's Air Force, I think they're all Air Force. I think this one's army so i just have them displayed on these wooden hangers but they could be hung on the wall uh, but these are u.s army sweetheart these were very a very popular thing for soldiers to bring back to their loved ones when they were deployed um just really neat they do look very neat hung up on the wall Okay, so I also have, this is something that I think is really neat. It is a vintage marriage certificate. And it is from, actually, I want to say that it's antique because you see the date there? It's 1886. So this is not a vintage marriage certificate. It is an antique marriage certificate. It is over 100 years old. So that's pretty cool. Um, it's kind of hit by this big lamp here, but it's very pretty. All right, moving on. I have this really cool lamp here. This one has not been converted to an electric lamp. It is still a oil lamp. There's no uh, cord on the back of it anywhere. So this is beautiful. It has this beautiful shade on it. And honestly, yeah. This is what happens all the time. My dad will put this stuff out and there's no price on it. So what's what's gonna happen is someone's gonna ask me how much I want for that lamp and I've, I'm just gonna have to shout out a, a number and hope that it, I didn't undersell or oversell it. So this is a c common thing that my father will do in the shop. He gets too excited and doesn't price anything. This is a really cool, it is a hickory glass vase. Now, this art glass here, I just, I have a hard time selling it here in the shop. So this is something here that I am going to have to take home. This is an example of things that I've had forever. We've had this vase in our shop for at least four years. I know that because we don't use this twine as tags anymore. So this is something that I'm going to list online. It's in excellent condition. It has no flaws on it, but in our area, it just isn't something that, that really, I can't get what it's worth in the shop. Does that make any sense? I can get what it's worth online. And actually, I think I even had it. Yeah, it was in the window. I actually had it marked 50% off and it's still, has not sold. So that's something I will have to take and put online. Okay, this cabinet here, I'm gonna try to back up so you can kind of see. This is one of my favorite pieces of furniture. This is a baker's cabinet, and they call it a baker's cabinet because of all these little drawers here. So in these drawers is where they would keep their little spices and things. It's a baker's cabinet. We have this one listed for $595. Um, at one time, someone had stripped the paint off of the top because they were going to paint it. And unfortunately, it doesn't have the original paint on the top like it does on the bottom. But look at the poles on these. These are awesome. So, just going to just give you a little tour of some of the things that we have. These guys right here, I have a ton of these. We went to an estate sale last summer and there was a bunch of stuff in the basement. And these were just stacked in here. These are, they're wax covered. So they're almost like the, the old timey Gladware, I guess. They were locker boxes. And so the insides of them are wax lined. So they, they would keep their food sealed up in here. The thing that's really cool about this one is on the back, it is the International Harvester Company. 
So I think that's kind of cool. It's kind of a cross value deal because it's a kitchen thing, but it's also a farming implement. I'm gonna put that up there upside down. I don't know if this blue one, I know the red ones were like that. And see, this is full. Now, this box here is full of other boxes just like this. So this is, I guess, new old stock, and someone paid 79 cents for them back in the day. But they are just these space saver locker boxes. But the graphics are cool on them, and they do look neat just on a shelf. This is celery seed. This is a paper celery seed from French's. And then off, you know, milk bottles. Do you guys remember when milk bottles were hot then? They're not so hot anymore. They used to be at one time. You used to be able to find, you couldn't buy a milk bottle for $15 back in the day. This can I love. It is not old. It's, I mean, look at the top of it. It's a reproduction. Another way that you can tell that something isn't that old if they've got that barcode on there. But it has neat graphics on it. And it, again, it just looks kind of neat just sitting as a display. And look how cute this is. I'll just show you this. Look at this little pretty made oven. Isn't it cute? These are things though too that just look so cute on a kitchen shelf. I have 25.50. This is a Mark's Toy Pretty Made Metal Kitchen. I just think that it's so cute. The little Campbell soup cup up there. Canisters, just this aluminum canisters. I don't think that they are any brand. No, they are Chromex. So some Chromex count canisters. Let me look on the bottom. They're not marked. Yeah, they're marked on the inside. Chromex. There should be four of them. I'm missing the sugar. No, tea. So just flour, sugar, and coffee. 